Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishal. I hope you all are doing well. So welcome back to another placement statistics video from ISC Bangalore. So if you are following my channel closely, you know I have already prepared two videos regarding the placement statistics in ISC Bangalore and that are MTEC in AI branch and the CDS department. So both the videos are there in my channel. If you haven't watched the videos, please go through that video. The link will be in the description or it may come in the i button. Now coming back to today's video, so as you know from the thumbnail, this video is about CSA placement statistics. Yes, finally I am able to gather the information about the placement statistics for CSA department in ISC Bangalore, what happened this year and in this video I am going to talk about that only. So everything about the placement statistics for CSA department will be there in this video, like how many companies have visited, what are the students who got placed till now, which are the students who are still not placed, who are still struggling to get placed. How was the placement for the first slot, second slot, third slot? So everything detail that will be there in this video. And I won't be talking about the exact salary structure of, of each company. So that probably I'll make another video. But the average uh, salary, what CTC and the, at the base salary, what the student has received from the companies and the maximum CTC and base salary that will be there in this particular video. So if you want to know detail about it, please stay tuned to this video till end without skipping any of the part. And if you're new to this particular channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that when you upload a new video, you will get a send notification. Okay, so total 67 students from Computer Science and Automation Department or CSC Department in ISC has appeared for placement this year. And when I gathered this data, I think a couple of weeks back, I gathered this data. Till then, 51 students got placed uh, in all the slots that has happened uh, in, in on-campus placement. And 16 students are still unplaced. That means... Around 76% students got placed and 24% students are still, you know, struggling to get a job from the on-campus placement. Now, whatever role that is being offered, you know, you can categorize the roles uh, in, in three categories. So, there are a few students who got uh, a role from the system company. So, those are system roles that is being offered for the students. And typically, the students who are working in system uh, for their MTech uh, final year project, they, they kind of appear for the system companies and they are, uh, you know, got the offer later from these uh, system companies for the system roles. Uh, there is a huge amount of students who got offer from uh, different startups and big companies for AI and machine learning roles like data scientist, applied scientist, uh, AI machine learning engineer. So these kind of roles are there. So I'm categorizing all of these roles as a AI machine learning role. And there are around 10 or 11 students who got SD role as well, software development role as well. So all these three categories of roles that is being offered to different students, different 51 students who got placed in, in, in the placement for CSA department as of now. I will talk about all of these different roles and their slot wise details one by one. So first let's talk about the system, uh, uh, you know, system level companies who has offered the system level roles to different, uh, different students. So in the first slot, there was around uh, 10 to 11 students who got placed in different companies. And there are many big names like Nutanix is there, Qualcomm is there, Samsung is there. So and, and, and one, one startup is there that is Polymage. So these are the four or five companies who were recruited around, I think, 10 or 11 students. Yeah, around 10 students, uh, they have recruited in the first slot itself. And, you know, frankly speaking, these are really big names. Qualcomm, Samsung, Nutanix, these are big names who has recruited uh, students. And I think Nutanix has recruited two students. Qualcomm recruited four students. Samsung recruited uh, three students, nine. And this Poly Image has recruited one student. So the students who is working for systems, uh, it's, it's, it's really good for them at least in the first slot. In the second slot, I can see IBM has recruited three students for, for system level uh, role. And in the third slot, there are two students who, who is recruited by NVIDIA. NVIDIA is, again, a big name in the, in the, in the system, uh, you know, industry. So, yeah, I mean, second in the second slot, IBM only took three students. And in the third slot, NVIDIA has taken two students. So, total 15 students are recruited for the, uh, for the system level role by these big companies, IBM, NVIDIA, Qualcomm, Samsung, Nutanix. And it's really, really good for, for systems uh, that, you know, big companies are visiting ISC Bangalore and uh, they have recruited students. Next, let's talk about the software development role or SD role. Here also, there are 12 students uh, who got placed in different companies for software developer role. Uh, so in first slot, there are five students who got uh, placed. Two got placed in Cisco, two in Capital One and one in Texas Instrument. 
In the second slot, uh, there was uh, around, yeah, there was again five students who got placed in different companies. So there was Lewis, MathWorks, Micron, IBO Force, and Mercedes Benz, who has recruited students for the software development role. In the third slot, there are only three students who got placed for HD role. And the companies who are recruiting these three students is Unistring and Infobail. So they have uh, 14 students or uh, sorry, 12 students who got placed in different companies uh, in, in these three slots for the software development role. And finally, the data scientist role or AI machine learning role. And there are 22 students from computer science and automation department or CSA department this year who got placed for data scientist role in different companies. In the first slot, there are 11 students who got placed uh, for data science role. In the second slot, there are seven students who got placed in data science role. In the third slot, there are four students who got placed in different companies for AI machine learning role or data scientist role. So total 22 students who got placed till now uh, for data scientist role in different companies. In the first slots, uh, there are companies like Miso, Cerebras, Observe AI, Mastercard, Fidelity. So these are companies are within the first slot. In the second slot, there are uh, Ola, Fujitsu, Mercedes Benz, and Fast Court, who has reached the campus, and uh, they have recruited uh, seven students uh, from CSE department for data science role. And in the final slot, the third slot, there are Angel One, Netterdine, and Nokia, uh, who has recruited four students for, uh, for 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 their company in the data science role. So as you can see, there is a quite huge number of students, like 22 uh, students who got placed. Uh, in, in, in machine learning uh, or data science role in different companies. Now, if I talk about the salary part, so as you already mentioned in the beginning of the video, then I won't be talking detail about each company, their base salary or CTC salary in this video. So I'm planning to make a separate video about all the companies who has visited the campus and what are the salary structure that they're offering for different kinds of roles that, uh, you know, that they're offering the students because, uh, you know, it, it, I have seen that many companies are offering different roles to different branches of students like Samsung or Qualcomm, you know, they're offering both system level uh, roles to different companies at the same time, they're offering machine learning level roles, SD level roles. So that's why, you know, it's very difficult to explain everything in a, in, in, in a single video. So that's why I've decided that I'll be making a separate video about all the companies and their job description and their salary structure. But in this video, I'll just give you the average and highest CTC and base salary that is offered for the CSA student. So the average base salary for the CSA student till now is around 22 lakhs per annum. And average CTC is around 30 lakhs per annum, which is a really, really good amount. Maximum uh, base salary is 36 lakhs per annum, which is I think by Observe AI. And the maximum uh, CTC. Uh, which is being offered to any of the students is 51 lakhs per annum, 51 lakhs per annum, which is by NVDA. So yeah, that was the, you know, kind of salary structure which is being offered to different students uh, for the CSU branch, those 51 students. And I personally feel the base salary 22 lakhs per annum and CTC 30 lakhs per annum is a really good salary structure. Now I will share what is my takeaway from this data. First of all, for system, it's a, it's a really good placement that has happened. I don't know how many students are still left from system to get placed, but all the big companies, most of the big companies that visited the campus, like Qualcomm, Samsung, Neutronics, NVIDIA, they have visited only, I think AMD hasn't visited an HP uh, from the big company name. They have an Intel hasn't visited the campus, but uh, you know, the number of students from system branch is very limited. So that's why. Uh, if uh, total 15 students are getting placed from systems in different companies and a few few system students also will appear for the AI email and SD also. So I think uh, if you are aiming for a, for for working in the system area, uh, you know, it's not an issue for you because most of the big companies have visited the campus for system uh, level role for the students. But the issue is again for the AI and machine learning uh, level role because as I have already mentioned for CDS department and AI and uh, I'm taking AI branch that not any big research lab or big company that visiting ISC Bangalore for data scientist role. Like I haven't seen Amazon, I haven't seen IBM Research Lab, I haven't seen Google, Microsoft, uh, Flipkart, LinkedIn. These companies are not visiting campus and that's why, you know, um, I think that because these huge number of five, six companies are not visiting campus, that's why still people are left uh, to be placed uh, from, from, from from the CSA, CDS, and you know AI branch because these com big companies are not visited. I don't know what is the reason. Yeah, market is down, but I have seen these companies visited in IIT Kharagpur or IIT Bombay. So I don't know why 
uh, they are not visiting the campus. But overall, I will say the placement, at least the salary structure is really good. I mean, if you're getting 22 lakhs per annum as a base salary and 30 lakhs per annum as a CTC as your starting salary, on average, then it's a really, really good placement. I, I personally feel it has happened. But yeah, there are still 16 students to be placed. Uh, that's a warning, that's a concern for me. But yeah, I mean, 51 students got placed and 75% placement is done in this market is really, really good thing. And for SD also, you know, I haven't seen much students from ISC, you know, kind of interested in SD, but there are 11 students who got placed in SD role. Mostly the, what I've seen that these people are those students who are working in theory on systems and they prefer to go for SD roles. But yeah, it's good that at least few percentage of students are working for their coding part and they're getting placed in the SD. So yeah, that was the overall statistics for CSA department in ISC Bangalore. So yeah, that's it guys. That's it about the overall placement statistics for computer science and automation department in ISC Bangalore. I know many of you are waiting for this video and many of you have, you know, commented in all of my videos and messages me in the LinkedIn that please make a video about CSA department also. And finally, I will to gather the data about the CSA department. So yeah, that is about this video. If you have any query or comment, let me know in the comment section. I'll try to answer them there or maybe I'll make a separate video about the question of the week session. And there will be another video about the signal processing branch also because that data also I'm able to gather. So there will be a short video about that only that how is the placement happened for signal processing branch in ISC Bangalore. And one video will be there about all the companies who have visited the campus and what was their job description. So that also I'll be sharing in all the videos so videos will be coming up so it will take some time because i'm a lot of busy nowadays both my professional life and my personal life so that's why it will take some time please you know stay tuned and be patient i'll be making all the videos one by one so yeah that's it about this video if you have liked this video don't forget to hit the like button because your likes you know give me more motivation and makes my video more reachable to other people and if you're new to this particular channel, please subscribe my channel, hit the bell icon so that when I upload a new video, you'll get a stand notification. That's it about this video. I'll be waiting in the next video. Until then.